My name is Quentin Christian. I'm the founder of Ecoderms Africa. For the past five years, we've been working on affordable housing prototypes using Super Adobe technology, compressed earth blocks, Guastavino tiles. The importance of, of sustainable building practices is crucial at this point in time. Part of our mission is to um, provide sustainable housing solutions that can be built by local people. People are also at the forefront of our technology. We stand by the permaculture principles of people care, earth care, fair share. With Ecodomes Africa, our focus is on working with local communities, empowering local communities through education, and developing technology that um, reduces our impact in the environment and creates a better future. A lot of the work that we've done is um, to reference and study traditional uh, African architecture and look at how people were constructing hundreds of years ago and maybe look at how we could use that, those technologies in a more contemporary way. I was very inspired by the work that Nadia Kaleli was doing and um, decided to use Super Adobe technology as the first technology that we would use in our projects. So Super Adobe is a rammed earth technology. Um, soil, earth uh, and a tiny bit of cement is mixed together and put into these polypropylene bags, into a tubular bag. It's a continuous um, tubular bag and it is then rammed and it, uh, the bag causes the earth to, to cure very slowly and essentially turn into a stone. In Langbos we work together with GoPro and in Sekelelo to build this amazing children's home um, that is a beacon in the community and acts as a multifunctional space, uh, providing support to the children, it's a, it's a creche for the kids, it's a women's centre, it's a library, it's a soup kitchen, it's a place for the community to come together, um, it's a place for them to use the internet. We recorded the whole building being built in VR so that other people could experience what the build was like and how it impacted the local community. Virtual reality is something that we uh, have been using to educate and to train people in um, earth architecture. So we've used VR technology to build several of our buildings and we've recorded those buildings being made in, in virtual reality and then using that content to train people in different languages and different cultures so they can experience the buildings being built before they undertake the project that um, is commencing. One of the main challenges that we had when constructing the Langbos uh, Children's Centre that we had quite a wide range of ages working on the, on the construction site. But once we had educated and once we had shown how easy it was to build this technology, um, the local people just took, took it and just ran with it. The local community ended up building the largest Super Adobe Dome in the world. Ecodome's role in this project was to provide support to the um, local community when we do projects, we don't only look at the building and its effect on the community and the way it's constructed, but we also look at things like um, collecting rainwater, we focus on black water and wastewater, we do grey water systems, uh, most of our projects use solar energy, and um, we try and combine all these things together to build in a way that it's a different way of thinking about construction. Um, something that has really interested us is creating our own cement and creating our own lime. Every project that we work on, we learn something new. And something that we've learned over the past five years is that every single project and every single site is different and every community's needs are different. If we want to save the environment, we need to start thinking about construction in a different way.